Amy Robach appears to remove Andrew Xu images following her return to social media. Following her comeback to social media, Amy Robach is purging any images of her ex-husband Andrew Xu. Many of Robach's earlier Instagram photos with Xu have vanished after she, 50, reactivated her account following her affair with TJ, Holmes. Particularly those near the end of bigger photo carousels, certain group pictures with Xu, 56, have stayed on Robach's grid. Romantic photos of the ex-couple, however, seem to have been deleted. The two Instagram users captioned the identical black and white image of two pairs of running sneakers. Since their relationship made headlines in November 2022, the former GMA3 conquerors have generally avoided social media. Even though they were married to different persons at the time, Robach and Holmes were seen cuddling up outside the workplace. Holmes filed for divorce from Marilee Fiebig, his wife of more than 10 years, a month later. More than what first appears. Before the TV reporter was seen having a relationship with her Good Morning America co-anchor T. J. Holmes, Amy Robach, and Andrew Shu appeared to be a happy couple. In 2010, two years after her divorce from Tim McIntosh, Robach and Shu became legally married. The previous pair, who wed in 1996, Shu, on the other hand, appeared to state his position on the matter clearly when he deleted any references to his divorced wife from Instagram. Robach continued to avoid the spotlight, and Us Weekly later revealed that they had filed for divorce. Despite making infrequent appearances on his boy's social media accounts, Shu has not publicly acknowledged his separation. With his then-wife Jennifer Hageney, the Melrose Place alum gave birth to Nate, Aiden, and Wyatt in 1996, 1999, and 2004, respectively. After more than 10 years of marriage, the couple decided to call it quits in 2008. In 2010, Shu wed Robach, who has children named Annalise and Ava from a previous relationship with Tim McIntosh. Amy Robach and Andrew Shu, who sometimes referred to themselves as the Shoebox, united their two families in marriage in 2010. In an exclusive interview with Us Weekly in 2017, Robach said, We've been compared to the Brady Bunch, but we don't have an Alice. My greatest gripe is that, at the time, Shu joked, she does everything. Duh. Shu praised Robach for bringing up strong-willed girls before they got divorced, telling us in 2017, I was like, oh, they're never going to fight, but they're feisty and I adore it. They constantly put me to the test. When I first met Ava, I recall that she challenged me to a race. It doesn't necessarily mean, we're going to go do girl things, for example. Having both viewpoints has been beneficial. Robach added his thoughts on the couple's efforts to instill the proper morals in their children. We invest our money in experiences rather than objects. Those things are prone to being forgotten, she previously told us. Instead of buying my daughter's clothes for Christmas, I decided to take them to a Broadway musical, which turned out to be one of the most memorable uses of my money and time. Memories cannot be erased or changed back.